256 days, 8 months, and 11 days since you last heard this familiar voice casting of Rocket League regular season match. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Varsity Week 1 for the Winter 2023 Rocket League season. This stream will feature Fort Atkinson versus Wisconsin Lutheran, two Division 2 teams who have some history of playing each other. My name is Andrew Jr., your fellow with Sea Commentator, pleased to be taking you through this matchup today for the match of the week. It's been a while since I've casted a Rocket League regular season game, and I'm excited to get things underway here at about 3.45 p.m. But in the meantime, let's look at notes. So... Winter 2023 Rocket League season officially kicks off today. Varsity Week 1 is happening all across the state of Wisconsin. The match of the week, as previously mentioned, Fort Atkinson versus Wisconsin Lutheran. Let's start with Fort Atkinson. They are in Division 2 in the Octane Conference. Their players consist of Trent 1T Davis. He is their captain. Spencer, a.k.a. Alpha Ray Quaza. Cooper, a.k.a. Scooney. Notes for Fort Atkinson last spring season, spring 2022 season statistics. They went 6-0 and overall in the regular season, 18-1 game record-wise. And in the playoffs, they defeated number 8 seed New London in the first round, defeated number 4 seed Wisconsin Lutheran in the quarterfinal. That's what I was alluding to earlier about these two teams knowing a thing or two about playing each other. They defeated number 3 seed Whitnell in the semifinal and lost to number 2 seed Shano in the grand final. And let me tell you, that grand final between Fort Atkinson and Shano was amazing to watch. Shano pulled off the upset over Fort Atkinson last year. This season, Fort Atkinson is looking to get back in that playoff picture. Actually, the grand final picture. But Shano is probably going to stand in their way yet again. And winter 2023 roster moves, the roster remains unchanged. So the players for Fort Atkinson stay the exact same across the board. Moving on to Wisconsin Lutheran, Division II Hotshot Conference. So the alternate conference of Division II is what Wisconsin Lutheran represents. Players consist of Tim, a.k.a. HVSTL. He is their captain. Mason, a.k.a. Mr. Cheeseman. And Caden, CXMXN. Spring 2022 season statistics. They finished 5-3 and three overall in the regular season. They finished 16-9 and nine game record-wise. And the playoffs, they defeated number five seed Seymour in the first round, and they lost to number one seed four Atkinson in the quarterfinal. Roster moves for them is that they lost Matt, aka Ghost Acid, lost Orion, aka OGX Killer Ghost, lost John, lost Duran, and they brought in Mason and Caden in that lineup to fill up the holes. And obviously, Tim remains the captain of Wisconsin Lutheran. He was with the team last year. On that run that only lasted the quarterfinals thanks to Fort Atkinson. If you're just tuning into the stream, this is the Winter 2023 Rocket League Season Varsity Week 1 Match of the Week stream featuring Fort Atkinson versus Wisconsin Lutheran. I am your fellow ECD commentator, Andrew Just Jr. Pleased to be taking you through this matchup. Kickoff will be at 3.45 p.m. So if you need to grab a snack or anything like that, please do so and come back around 3.45. Obviously, I'll be here to fill dead air time as needed. Since we have a little bit more time here, well, actually, let me make sure the game is set here. One second to make sure these mutators are right. I don't want to have any faulty match here. There are rules to abide by. Alright, looks like the custom lobby is set up. Oh, wait, no it's not. I have to change the team names.
Make sure these team settings are correct. I know that the note sheet is still displayed on the screen. I will pop up the actual schedule for the 20 or winter 2023 Rocket League season in just a moment here. I just want to make sure the game lobby is created. So bear with me for a moment. That looks correct. All right. Flip on the schedule here. Flip up the logo as well. All right. So what you're looking at here is the Winter 2023 Rocket League schedule. Sorry that this is a little off-center. If anybody's watching has OCD, I apologize. That's how it is on the website. So varsity schedule preseason week one. We had that already. January 3rd was varsity. January 5th was JV. Fun fact, I actually played... For Horlick Chevy, a Rocket League team on this day right here, January 5th against Bayport. Our team beat Bayport 3-0 and swept them 29-0 goal-wise within the three games that were played in the series. Fantastic performance by the JVA team, including me. It was nice to get back there. So week one is today for Varsity, January 10th. Week one for JV will be this Thursday, January 12th, and so on and so forth. Week two. January 17th for Varsity, January 24th, week three, week four, you get the gist. Same goes for JV here, but at the bottom here, we have the playoff schedule as well. So first round of the playoffs will be March 7th. Second round will be March 14th. The state championship event for the winter 2023 Rocket League and Fortnite seasons will be on March 18th at UW River Falls. That's about a five-hour drive from where I am here in Racine. So we're going to have to get something worked out in order for me to be up there for that state final. But we have a whole season to get through first. And it starts with a banger of a matchup between Fort Atkinson and Wisconsin Lutheran here in just about five minutes. All right, and with that, we'll be transitioning to the game overlay. Going to now send out lobby information to both captains. Make sure they are on the same page or ready to go. Originally, I was going to be playing for Horlick's JVA team this Thursday, but George S. Parker, a new school, had to forfeit their season, so that means that I will be casting Thursday's JV match. I will make the announcement on what the match will be at the end of the stream. But I will be casting JV this week alongside either Kyle, aka X-Ray, from Walden, or our beloved color commentator from the Super Smash Bros. season in the fall, Henry. So we'll see who is able to be present for Thursday. All right, looks like Wisconsin Lutheran wanted a 4 p.m. start. When it was 3.45. I wonder if there was an email. Okay, there was an email. I just... Well, I guess I could fill in with some more information with this dead air time that we have here. So, yeah, obviously for me, it's great to be back casting Rocket League for Wasia again. The spring 2022 season was an absolute... It was one great ride for sure. And, you know, one month removed from the fall 2022 uh, state championship event with Smash Bros. and Smite... I come here and I cast Rocket League yet again. All right, well, it looks like Wisconsin Lutheran has joined, so we could be getting things underway here very shortly. This is a best of five series. 
So whoever wins three games first is going to be the winner, and their record is going to advance to 1-0. and And the loser's record is going to drop to 0-1. My eyes, this should be a five-game series, but again, you never know. You never know how dominant Fort Atkinson is going to be because they have their exact same lineup. Which gives an accurate assumption that they could dominate this game fully as Wisconsin Lutheran doesn't have their whole lineup from last year. Obviously, they still have HVSTL, their captain, but they have two new players on the roster. So that'll be interesting to see. Maybe we'll see what we saw out of Case come from Wisconsin Lutheran. Case has two new players on their varsity team, and they were looking really good last week against Wasa West. So you never know if Wisconsin Lutheran can pull a fast one on Fort Atkinson here, get their sweet revenge from the playoff loss last season. All right, looks like Fort Atkinson is in here as well. All right, let's get it started in here. Game one of this best of five series will be kicking off right now. Nice kickoff to open things up. Or Wisconsin Lutheran. Oh, an Alpha already getting a shot in. Fort Atkinson looking strong to start things out. Alpha, the beautiful opening shot there. Right off the wall. Riding the ball straight into the net. For Wisconsin Lutheran. Fort Atkinson takes a one goal lead. Five seconds into the first game. Fort Atkinson immediately a nice kickoff there. Scooney putting up a shot. That one just a tad bit to the right of the net. Do what T Davis is able to do. Can't do much. Oh, another shot. Gets accidentally blocked off by 1T there. Alpha resurging back. A beautiful save made. HV trying to put some pressure on the Fort Atkinson. Davis goes up for that clear. He gets it. Gets the ball again. The shot is in for Fort Atkinson. Already Fort Atkinson starting off strong here, as I said before. Nice solo play from Davis there, driving the ball straight into the goal. See if Wisconsin Lutheran can get some points on the board here. Already 40 seconds into the match. They have not scored yet. They've allowed Fort Atkinson to get two goals already. HV trying to get it out of his half. Can't do it. Scooty centers it. Alpha's there. Alpha tries to put up a shot there. Shanked wide to the right, though. Davis, a nice demo on HV. Scooney centers. Davis there. Oh, but he's not in position to make the play. Scooney, demo on yellowish. Alpha centers. Scooney there. Puts it in. Wow. Great play from Alpha and Scooney here. Four Atkins is looking dangerous. They're picking off. Right where they left off last season. Made it all the way to the grand finals. Only Shano stood in their way of receiving championship gold. They are out for blood. Nice save by Mr. Cheese. Davis again trying to apply more pressure to Wisconsin Lutheran. Finally, Yellowish gets it out of 
Wisconsin Lutheran's half, but Davis right there to put it mid. Alpha there to read it. Flicks it over one. Can he get that one in? No. Yellow with the save for Wisconsin Lutheran. Scunia center. That gets blocked off by HV. Way to be there. Mr. Cheese looking to advance it here. Alpha is going to deny all plans of a possible center. Yellowish almost got one off, though. HV, a nice punt there. HV trying to follow it up here. Limited amount of boost. I have to try something here. Yellowish. Oh, Davis gets it past him. Alpha there for the follow up. HV's got to get back there. Wise clear there. Mr. Cheese able to follow it up. Ball is popped up in the air. Scooney's going to be able to tap it. Alpha right there to follow it up. So we can flick it over one. He does. And the shot's not going to go in. Mr. Cheese, a nice save there. Direct pass to HV. Ball's popped up in the air. Alpha is there to clear it. Flip resets on the ball there. It's casually showing off there, Alpha. Scooney gets it past one. He has HV in his way. And HV blocks him off. Ball centered. Scooney is not in position. Alpha gets demoed. Or Alpha demos. And Yellowish scores. For Wisconsin Lutheran. Finally, after much deliberation, Wisconsin Lutheran gets on the board. Nice redirect play from Yellowish. Good pass by Mr. Cheese Man there. Wisconsin Lutheran cuts their deficit to 2 with 2.02 remaining. Lots of 2s there. Scooney trying to get it past. Cheese is not able to. Davis pops it up. Center position. Davis demos yellowish. HV gets it past him. It's open net. Can HV take advantage? Oh, he took too much time. He had broad daylight in front of him. Couldn't take advantage of it. Couldn't get control of the ball. Davis, a beautiful center. Alpha not there to follow it up, though. Alpha with the center of his own. Two players of Wisconsin Lutheran's defense took the bait there. Ford Atkinson could not cash in, though. Davis gets another demo on HV. Scooney gets bumped. She's able to ride this one towards midfield. Limited amount of boost, though. HV, a nice push on the ball. HV gets bumped, and so does the ball. The ball in play for Ford Atkinson. Drops down. Scooney cannot read it. See if Alpha can, though. Maybe looking for a double tap. Not able to. HV locking it down for Wisconsin Lutheran. Ball popped up. Alpha's in the air. Mr. Cheese. Nice defense. Davis, though, trying to flip reset on the ball. Does not have any boost now. Ball goes back to midfield. Alpha there to read it immediately. Puts it up. Center position. Davis is there. Oh, just off the crossbar. Scooney can't put it in either. Oh, and it's a rule. Oh, Scooney fast to break that rule one. And Davis puts up the shot for Fort Atkinson, extending their lead by three. Beautiful passing play done by Alpha to set up the goal for Davis. Seven seconds left here. This one's all but over. Maybe Fort Atkinson looking for a fifth goal here. And they don't get it. Alpha gets the demo, though. Ball still in play, though. Center position. That one's just going to hit the ground. And Fort Atkinson is going to take game one. Very one-sided affair to start things out. But sometimes that is present in these matchups. As you see here, Fort Atkinson obviously getting more shots than Wisconsin Lutheran is. And the key for Wisconsin Lutheran to jump back in this series is to shut down this versatile offense that we're seeing from Fort Atkinson here. Let's see if things change in game number two.
Alpha's gonna tap that one toward Wisconsin Lutheran territory. HV a nice demo on Scooney. Ball popped up in the air. Alpha there immediately puts it in. Beautiful play there from Alpha. Putting his team up one. Only 13 seconds into the matchup this time around. Nice kickoff from Davis to start things out. Ball immediately in center position. Yellowish wise to get that off of Wisconsin Lutheran's half. Davis put more pressure on Alpha there again. That one goes off the crossbar. Not even off the crossbar, above the crossbar. HV gets a nice drive, but Alpha there immediately. Davis follows up. Oh my goodness, what a shot. Wow. An assist from HV's car. My goodness. 1T Davis is showing out today. Call him John Cena, man. He's a bad, bad man. Unreal. Ford Atkinson is looking pretty nice. In the opening week of the winter 2023 Rocket League season. HV trying to put up a shot now. Alpha there to save. Scooney tried to follow it up with a redirect. Couldn't do it. Davis there. Gets locked up by HV. Good play. G's demo Scooney. HV is going to rotate back now. Yellowish putting up a shot. That one's going to get saved by 1T Davis. He does that in his sleep. HV pops the ball up in the air. Looking like the rotations for Wisconsin Lutheran aren't as clean as they should be. It'll be a thing to watch as Alpha makes me watch something else. Puts another one in for Fort Atkinson. He's like, Andrew, don't focus on the fact that Wisconsin Lutheran's rotations aren't that good. Focus on the fact that Fort Atkinson is scoring still. Oh, and that one's going to go in. Mr. Cheese gets an easy look there. Looked like Fort Atkinson's defense there was as non-existent as Long John Silver's in Wisconsin. I'm not sure what happened there. Wisconsin Lutheran cuts their deficit to two here. Let's see if Fort Atkinson can keep their... Put on the gas pedal here. It's looking likely. Alpha there to put it in. A hat trick for him. Ball was in play for way too long there. Wisconsin, Luther Wisconsin Lutheran's defense out of position there. That's something they're going to have to work on. They want to come back in the series and for later on in the season for sure. As again, they do have new players, so you got to give them... Gotta give them some slack. Scooney gets the demo on Mr. Cheese. Davis up in the air. Flip reset! And that's gonna get saved immediately by HV. Ball's gonna go over the head of HV. Yellowish is not gonna be able to follow it up. Ball goes over Mr. Cheese. Alpha puts up a shot, and that one's going to be wide right of the net. Wishes he had that one back. Scooney, the pass, and the breakup by HV. Yellow is trying to get another goal in. No! Davis with the save. Great play there. Ball goes over one. Scooney trying to put it in. That one is going to go wide to the left of the goal. Scooty wins a 50 there. HV immediately passes it to Alpha. Yellowish the redirect. Davis passes it to Scooty here. A little bit of pressure is on Fort Atkinson now. Nice center from Yellowish. And Yellowish's shot is going to be saved by 1T. Davis gets his savior of the game.
Goonie trying to get it out of Fort Atkinson's half. Davis trying to do the same. Gets it past one. Gets it past two. Has an open look. Can he capitalize on it? No, he's not going to be able to. Centers it for Alpha. Alpha can't follow up on that. Yellowish taking a ball. Flicks it over one. One T. Davis actually own goals there, but Yellowish gets the goal for Wisconsin Lutheran. And Wisconsin Lutheran yet again cuts their deficit down to two. 115 remaining. Let's see what happens here. Center position, Scooney. Oh, tried to fit that one in. Couldn't do it. HV wins a 50 off Scooney. Ball up in the air. Scooney there. Oh, but he didn't need to do anything because Alpha, the man for Fort Atkinson. Oh, my goodness. Look at this double tap. Oh, my goodness. Absolutely filthy. My goodness. Amazing stuff we're seeing out of Fort Atkinson. Increase their lead to three. Less than a minute remaining in game two. Ball centered again. Cleared out immediately by Cheeseman. Yellowish. With the demo. Cheese trying to put up a shot. That one did not go through. Ball centered again. Scooney there immediately to clear it. Going off the wall for that one. Cheese centers it again. HV! It's not going to be able to get that one in. She's just waiting for an opportunity here to maybe score again before this clock runs out in game two. Alpha keeping it popped up in the air. Playing keep away with Wisconsin Lutheran. That's going to hit the ground and Fort Atkinson going to take game two. A little bit of deja vu from the first game, but Wisconsin Lutheran getting more shots up. Being more efficient in that department. That is a improvement from the first game by far. And again, when you have new players in the lineup, it's hard to maintain the same success that you had last season. So you got to give Scott Lutheran some slack here. They're making it competitive, even though the scoreboards do not show that. All right, game number three is getting set here. If Fort Atkinson is able to pull out this win, they win the series three to zero. That will conclude our match today, but do not count out Wisconsin Lutheran just yet as anything can happen in Rocket League. Oh, almost a nice passing play developed there for Wisconsin Lutheran to start things out. Scooty, the drive and a goal. It was like within 15 seconds of these last three games, or these three games in total, Fort Atkinson has had an opening goal within the first 15 to 20 seconds. Impressive. Very efficient. It's going to guide them throughout the season as well because I believe they're going to be in a deep playoff run yet again this year in Division 2. It's just that Chano is in the same division again. They're going to have to make sure that they understand Chano because that might be the team that will be in their way yet again for getting championship gold in Division 2 come the state final on March 18th. We still have a long way to get there. And this is only assumptions at this point. Nothing factual just yet. Alpha the pass. Right to Scooty. He's there. It gets broken up immediately. Davis is there. Nice shot. And that's in. A nice series of bounces before that one inevitably goes into Scott Lutheran's net. Another 2-0 lead for Fort Atkinson. In game three, less than four minutes remaining here. 
See if Wisconsin Lutheran can put up any sort of fight here. Yellowish with a nice pinch off the wall. Scooney up in the air. Trying to get it center position for his team. Again, it's just Fort Atkinson controlling where the ball is. Alpha, no way, another double tap. Unbelievable. Just putting in all the chips is Fort Atkinson for this one. They must have saw the social media post for this game and have been like, no, there is going to be no sweet revenge for Wisconsin Lutheran after we beat them in the playoffs last year. There's going to be no sweet revenge. That's what it's looking like here throughout the duration of this matchup. HV! Oh! Couldn't get full control of his car as he was moving backwards in the process. And that one's going to go in for Scooney. Catches HV off guard. Four to zero is the score. Three eighteen remaining. Ball up in the air. Davis popped it up. Scooney gonna try to go off the wall here. Doesn't have any boost. She's gonna use the rest of his boost there. Oh, and one T Davis reads exactly what was gonna happen there. Cheese was going to try to pinch it down in order to get it off his half, but 20 Davis read that like a book. Put it in for Fort Atkinson. 5-0. to zero. Fun fact, five more goals until a possible mercy rule here. That rule is implied. Oh, two demos by Fort Atkinson. Alpha going up, trying to center this one. Mr. Cheese gets up. He's able to knock it down. Scooney was there for the pass. Nice save by HB. Alpha pops it up for 1T Davis. He's there. Puts it in. Wow. 1T Davis gets a hat trick. And again, the beautiful passes from Alpha that we're seeing. Alpha can both pass and score. Very versatile. Lord Atkinson is looking... Spectacular to open things up for their season. Because they're going to get this win in advance to 1-0. and Have a great start to the season. The morale is going to be high for Fort Atkinson going forward here. They're going to have to take this game and remember it. And pretty much replicate everything they've done in this game with their future opponents. Or their future opponents could be and probably will be a little bit better than Wisconsin Lutheran for sure. Because some schools in Division 2 might still have their full lineups from last season. But yeah, Division 2 is going to be interesting to watch for sure. As the heavy favorites are Fort Atkinson and Shano. As Scooney, another goal, gets his hat trick for this game. Fort Atkinson just pouring it all on Wisconsin Lutheran here. Leading by 7. 137 remaining in game 3. Looking for another goal, and they get it! Alpha! They're getting a second goal. Being the main provider of goals via passing this entire game. Eight to zero here, just too shy of a possible mercy rule. Alpha pops it up. That one's not gonna go in. A little over a minute remaining in this game three. Let's see if Wisconsin Lutheran can put one up for pride here. It's good. Good momentum heading into week two here. It's not looking likely at all. One T Davis puts another one in for Fort Atkinson. Increasing the lead to nine. 
minute and five remaining in this game three. Ford Atkinson is just stat padding at this point. Definitely getting some good representation as they were featured on today's stream. Wisconsin Lutheran did keep things competitive for the most part. They just got to work some kinks out with their new players. They should be okay for the season. Alpha trying to make it a mercy rule here. It's not going to be mercy just yet. HV, a nice demo on Alpha. Ball popped up. HV misses. Scooney there, but Yellowish gets the save. Alpha center. Scooney there. Alpha's shot is not going to go in. Fuck, er. Sorry, Wisconsin Lutheran giving Fort Atkinson a lot of time with the ball. That was a common theme throughout this entire matchup and series. Oh, and Yellowish going to get one in for Wisconsin Lutheran. They will not be shut out in any of these games. Nice full court shot for Yellowish. Puts Wisconsin Lutheran on the board. Only one second left in game number three. And the series ends. Oh, I actually gave Wisconsin Lutheran a point. My my apologies. I did not realize that. Alright, it should be 3-0. to zero. Fort Atkinson and their record improves to 1-0. While Wisconsin Lutheran drops to 0-1. All right, well, now that that matchup has concluded, the stream will now conclude. Make sure to tune in this Thursday, January 12th for the JV Week 1 Match of the Week stream for the Winter 2023 Rocky League season. The matchup will be La Flette versus Port Washington A. Hopefully we'll see some good gameplay there from JV because they are like a Doritos roulette bag. You never know what you're going to get with any of those games. Nonetheless, though, I have been your fellow C commentator, Andrew Schiss Jr. I will be signing out. See you, t see you Thursday. Have a good night.